Kids Church. Good morning. Good morning. As you guys remember the last couple of weeks, we have been talking about when Jesus was res res resurrected from the dead and he gave his disciples a very special job before he ascended into heaven. He told them what? What was his, the special job he told them? Go and make disciples yeah. of all people the, in the world, baptizing them in the, the Father, Father and the, the Son, Son and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Very good. So he told them to go make disciples Matthew, to, you, <laughs> to go and... <laughs> 20, 20, there you go. Caleb knows it. To go and to share the good news. So last week, some of our Kids Church teachers shared about the ways that they share the good news and the way that they spread God's love um, in the world around them. Now, Jesus said he was going to send them a helper to be with them since he couldn't stay with them and he was going into heaven. So today we're going to be reading a story about that. So from our Spark Story Bible. All right. Today we are reading about the Holy Spirit. Jesus' disciples were celebrating a festival called Pentecost when suddenly a strong wind blew through the house. Everyone's hair lifted up and there was an amazing noise they looked at each other. It looked like each disciple had a flame of fire touching him, but no one was burned. The Holy Spirit had come just as Jesus promised. The disciples began to speak in different languages, languages they'd never learned. Stranger yet, they could understand each other. Peter stood up. I want to tell you about Jesus. He reminded everyone what Jesus taught them. He told them how Jesus died and lives again. It's time for us to begin a new life with God's Spirit guiding us, Peter said. The disciples were excited to live differently, guided by God's Spirit. This was the very beginning of the Christian church. So when we talk about Pentecost, we talk about that being the birthday of the church, the very first time that the church began, which is why we have our birthday cake today, because yeah. we are celebrating the birthday of the church. Wait, is and this church why... actually three years old? <laughs> okay, so do you guys know what the Holy Spirit is? He said he sent the Holy Spirit. What do you think that means? What is the Holy he Spirit? He probably sent them love and kindness so that yeah. they could understand each other and that he wanted them to share every, every, every like good thing to everybody like we talked about the good news. Mm -hmm. That's right. So what, what is the Holy Spirit? Who is the Holy Spirit? God. God. The three states of matter. The three states of, of matter. Of God. The so three states of matter of three. God. You That's got right. the Father, you got the Son, and you got the Holy Spirit. That's right. So That's we talk about we God three. being one person in three parts, right? God the Father, yeah. God the Son, mm -hmm. who is who? And then Jesus. Jesus, and then God the Holy Spirit. And when we talk about God the Holy Spirit, um, sometimes I've heard that described as like a warm blanket yeah. or um, a special helper that helps you. So another way that the Holy Spirit helps us is that it gives us maybe special skills or special talents or helps us use um, the personality that God gave us to do important things and to do great things. And so I've been encouraging you guys to think about ways that you can share the good news. And those are ways that the Holy Spirit can work in you and use whatever talents you have or whatever personality you have to share the good news and to do something amazing with it. Since we're talking about how God eats, made us special, the Dooms are going to read us a story. Hi friends! As we're learning about Pentecost and the Holy Spirit, we have a little story about when God made you. You, you, when God made you, God made you all shiny and new, an incredible you, a you all your own, a you unlike anyone else has ever known. God imagined your eyes, your head shape and size, and knew what you'd look like when you felt surprised. God pictured your nose and all ten of your toes. The sound of your voice, God had it composed. The lines on your hand, your hair, every strand. God knew every detail like it was all planned. Out of billions of faces, from cultures, all races, people God made from all different places. God knew your name. Your picture is framed. God's family without you would not be the same. Because when God made you, this much is true. The world got to meet who God already knew. 
So be you, fully you, a show-stopping review. Live your life in full color, every tint, every hue. Discover, explore, have faith but love more. And learn and relearn all that God made you for. Use your talents and passions, those gifts that God fashioned. Think up ideas and then put them to action. Because God loves you creating, your true self displaying, when light on the inside through art is portraying. When you make believe, the stories conceived, the heroics, the magic, those tricks up your sleeve. When you dance alone, spinning like a cyclone, being whoever, whatever, in a world all your own. God smiles, and here's why. In the spark of your eye, a familiar reflection shines bright from inside. Because when God made you, and the world oohed and odd, in heaven they called you an image of God. You, you, when God dreams about you, God dreams about all that in you will be true. That you, God's you, will be hopeful and kind, a giver who lives with all heart, soul, and mind. A dreamer who dreams in big and small themes, one who keeps dreaming in journeys upstream. A mover, a shaker, a lover of nature. A builder of bridges, you, the peacemaker. A confident you, strong and brave too. You being you is God's dream coming true. Because when God made you, all of heaven was beaming. Over you, God was smiling and already dreaming. All right, guys, find a special way that you can celebrate the church's birthday today. Maybe you can have a birthday cake like we're going to do, or maybe you could make um, a card for a church to say all the reasons that you're really glad that God made the church in ways that the church is special in your life. Camden had an idea earlier that she could send a card to Pastor Sam and tell him how Loft is special to you. Um, and uh, Or you could have a dance party. I think that's a great way to celebrate birthdays is to have a dance party. All right, friends, so think of some ways you can celebrate today. And as we've been talking about, think of ways that you can use your gifts and use your personality to spread God's love and to share his good news. All right, let's close in prayer. God of power, may the boldness of your spirit transform us. May the gentleness of your spirit lead us. May the goodness of your spirit be our glory, be our goal and our strength. Now and always, amen. 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 <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you later. I'll see you later, too. <laughs>